Hello, this is Reza Rad from Red Acad. In this video, I'm going to talk about KPI Visual in Power BI and how does it work, how you can configure it and set it to work for your report and dashboard. Let's see how it works. Let's start this by understanding what a KPI is. KPI is a short term for Key Performance Indicator. Every business, in order to understand how they are performing, they have some measures that they check time by time. For example, uh, a retail business, they might check their monthly sales. If it meets a specific threshold, then it is good. Otherwise, it might need some work. Um, uh, like in a ticketing system, you might check the number of open tickets that you have. Is it again meeting a specific threshold or not? So normally a KPI includes a value something that you are measuring uh, against a target. And also through the time, uh, you want to see how the trend of that thing is and what is the status? Is it right now good or bad? Um, is it, let's say, um, something that requires some improvement or not? Uh, for these types of uh, measures, normally, uh, like just a column chart or bar chart uh, wouldn't be just uh, like that helpful. You need a specific set of visuals. Uh, we call them visuals that are helpful for KPI development or let's say KPI visuals. Um, in Power BI, there are a number of ways to do that. There is one built-in visual called KPI visual, uh, which you can use for this. And this uh, video is specifically about this visual. We are not talking about other ways of creating uh, KPI visuals such as gauges or other thing. We are talking about KPI visuals. So let's see how the KPI visual works in practice. KPI visual, uh, when you add it, let me remove this, this wasn't supposed to be added. So if I add a KPI visual, which is right beside slicer, you see that it gets three of those values. I talked about an indicator, which is actually a value trend and the target. Uh, you definitely need to have indicator and trend. Target can be added or not. Now, uh, in my example, I have a really simple uh, model. I have a sales table with a sales measure, which is sum of sales, and a target, which is just um, statically uh, set as $600,000. Now, the target can come from another table, of course. Uh, that is not a problem. I just keep it like that to make it simple. Uh, so sales, I added to the indicator, uh, just adding indicator by itself doesn't show anything. If I add target to the target goals, that would still be the same. It doesn't show anything. You definitely need a trend in here. And you can uh, see this little exclamation mark here showing that you do need to have both value and trend. Value in this case means indicator. So I'm going to remove target for now, just showing you what the um, trend means here. Now, trend is a sequential field. It, it can be date, it can be a number, it can be anything that has a sequence in it. Um, I have a built-in date hierarchy and I can bring, for example, month from that hierarchy. As soon as I bring that trend, what happens is that this visual will show a, a area chart behind the scene and a value in the middle. So the value is obviously the indicator value. The area chart is that indicator value sliced and diced by whatever we have in the trend. Like for example, if I remove that month and bring year, this would be over years. It doesn't show you which years, uh, but it shows you that this is the trend. Now to make it more understandable, I just go and add the area chart down below here, just to show you what that actually means. I add sales as the value and then same thing as, uh, which is month as the axis. I forgot to add sales as a value, so sales as a value, right? So here you can see this is basically exactly the same chart. You can see that this is exactly the same area chart represented above, uh, which is down here. So what KPI visual does is that it shows you an area chart, which is the trend of how things Go. You can make some customization in this. For example, you can go to the format of that KPI visual. Uh, if you don't like this trend axis or this chart, you can turn it off or you can play with the transparency of it. 
so that is what the trend is. Now, another thing here is that um, is that value you see in the middle, this $3.06 million. What this means here, does it mean this is the total sales or does it, or is it filtered for a specific thing? Now, I changed this chart, the chart below to show the data values as well. That way you can see what that actually is. So um, the sales in every month, because the indicator in this case is sales, is represented here. And the last month sales, December sales, is 3.06, uh, which is exactly what mentioned here. So what KPI Visual does is that it shows you that trend um, as an area chart behind the scene. And the value here is only the value of the last data point here, which would be the last month in this case, right? Now, this means that December sales of December of all year combine together to present this, which might not be what you want. So normally adding a slicer beside this can be helpful. Uh, for example, I can add a slicer for a year and I change it to be a list and I change it to be single select slicer. If you want to learn more about slicer configuration, check out my other video about single select or multi-select and some other configuration. Now, if I select a specific year, I can see that this everything here changes the area chart, the trend, the value 1.73 million is here, the value of December. So it works like that. That is how the indicator is showed here. Now, uh, it is kind of easy to understand that this is always the last month. For example, if you have a full year, it's always December, right? This is easy. All of these are December. But for something like 2008, this is not December. You can see this value is actually the value of July. So how can I know which value it is? Because I wouldn't have this chart. This is um, the one I just added here to show what that means. I just want to look at KPI visual and understand it. Now, one good thing about KPI visual added a little bit later than the visual itself is this option in the format. In, under the format, there's a section for date. If you turn it on, then it will show you the date point of that last data point. In this case, July for all other years, it would be December, but at least I have a way to understand what month I'm looking at. And you can, of course, configure it, do some formatting about it. Uh, so you learned about trend, you learned about the indicator. Now, what is the target? Let me remove this. Uh, target is when you want to compare this value against something else. Let's say I want to compare this with the target that I have, which is $600,000 a month. I'll bring that to the target goals. As soon as I do that, there will be a color coding in this chart. You see, these are not gray anymore. It is green in this case, and the, both the number and the area chart behind it, they both are green. And I also see this little check mark bes beside it. And the reason that it is green is that the value here, the indicator sales is more than target. Uh, you see that target is 600,000, the sales is 1.73 million. It shows also the target here in the goal section. And it also shows how much different it is. It is uh, more than 188% more than the target. Now, this, this information is very really useful. You didn't really write any uh, calculation or measure to calculate it. Uh, and it does all of that for you automatically in one visual. If you want to change it, like, for example, you don't like to show the goal here, you can come and turn it off. Uh, or if you want the goal to be called target, you can change it. It's, it's all up to you what you want to do. And the distance is also configurable. You can say, I don't want to see the distance uh, or I want to see it, but in a different color. Uh, these are all configurable and you can, uh, you can customize it. Another thing about target configuration is that you may want to change this color coding. And that is again under format under the color coding. So color coding is uh, including three sentiment colors and a direction. You can choose uh, is if the value is more than the target. Is it like 
good thing, bad thing, how, how does this really work? For example, if you have a sales, sales meeting a target, sales like the more sales, the merrier, so you definitely high is good. But if it is an expense you are evaluating, then low is good. You can change that configuration. And then if it is more than your target, then it would be red, right? You can also change these sentiment colors or you can use conditional formatting, which would give you much more options and you wouldn't have just three sentiment colors. Then you can choose whatever you want in a conditional formatting. I wrote about that and explained that in a video separately. Go and check it out. The link is down in the description below. So in general, KPI visual is a very helpful visual. It shows you a lot of information. It can be helpful, depends on the scenario. It shows you uh, the status as well. Is it red? Is it bad? Is it good, uh, different color? You have all those configuration. It shows you the distance, the targets. Uh, it shows multiple visuals in one. Very helpful for scenarios to show a KPI in a report or dashboard. Uh, let me know what you think about this visual in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.